The cloud cover increasing across the entire region, but we're still on the warm side of things. 81 degrees right now here in downtown Detroit, but a little breezy with that southwest wind at about 17 miles an hour. 70s right now as you work over in a Pontiac, 79 there, 78 over in Ann Arbor, 82 right now checking in with us over in Howe this evening, 82 in Mount Clemens as well as at City Airport, and 80 right now as you're checking in with us over in Gross Eel. We've got a cold front knocking on our doorstep out over portions of Wisconsin back down into Iowa. Severe weather still possible this evening from Iowa into a good chunk of Illinois and Indiana. But as this frontal boundary rolls off to the east, this is what's going to trigger our showers and a few thunderstorms overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning. At the same time, we're tracking Hurricane Fiona tonight as the five o'clock advisory landfall about two and a half hours ago on the southwestern portions of Puerto Rico as a category one hurricane. Winds still sustained at 85 miles an hour, gusting upwards of 105 miles an hour, moving to the northwest at about nine miles an hour. On the projected forecast path, we're looking at Fiona going to the northwest and strengthening to a category two hurricane by early Tuesday morning, then becoming our first major hurricane of the season as a category three hurricane on Wednesday before moving well out into the Atlantic as we go from Thursday through the end of the week on Friday. Here at home, we will keep those showers and an isolated thunderstorm in after midnight tonight. This is two o'clock tomorrow morning, not looking at a widespread shower and thunderstorm event, but I think we'll keep those chances of showers and thunderstorms around by early tomorrow morning. The last event rolling out of the region by eight to nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Then we dry things out and I'm looking at lots of sunshine going mainly clear by seven o'clock on Monday evening. Then as that frontal boundary returns back into the region, I'm going to hold on to an isolated shower, not so much Tuesday morning, but Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening. The models going back and forth on this one, not going to be widespread rain, 